So that was a game that showed up in my feed earlier today, and I was like, you know what? I'm curious. I'll check this game out on stream. Let's see what's what's going on with it. I'm actually going to watch the, the teaser first. This was like released a year ago. It's a game called Blight Survival. The reason I'm curious about it, this is a game that also has four-player co-op. And I'm curious just to take a look at it, see what it's like. We'll start with the teaser. This is a little bit loud. Uh, let me adjust the volume here. There, that should be good. Oh wow, really? This was the teaser? Okay. Very well. Let's see the real deal. Everything you're about to see is pre-alpha gameplay and is a work in progress that does not reflect the final quality of the game. Sure thing. Ooh! Yes! Yeah! Oh! my god look at that dude's head he bashed his face in. see this is how you do a proper shield bash with the edge of the shield like bam bam lovely the double tap right there triple tap even glorious i want to see that again watch watch you guys listen you gotta you gotta give it to a developer whenever they put a shield as a proper weapon look listen uh, take it take it eat it there it is i like it i like this game already no don't leave the shield behind oh that makes me a little bit sad he left the shield behind that was great i want to bash somebody's skull in like that with a shield work out when you stream and play a game on the pc to use NPC. nope Oh, zombie peasants. Okay, so it seems that whenever... Oh, there's a lot of chromatic aberration in this game. Whenever you do a certain number of hits, it looks like you trigger like a finishing blow, which appears to be somewhat dynamic because the other one was like the sword kind of stuck on him. This one, we stab him through the skull. Look at the little giblets of brains coming out of dude's face. It's glorious. I like that. Wonder if they show the co-op as well. Ooh, you can do a spear. Oh, right through the mouth. Autumn skull cap. Okay. You can get loot. Light leather. I wonder if cleaning your sword is a mechanic. Bark Real Woods. Stop warming your balls and get over here! An important thing is, uh, I know that a lot of people are going to complain about this. Does it have an FOV slider? I can, al I can already tell. All the PC gamers out there are going to be like, my FOV needs an FOV slider. I understand. I get it. Um, I'm sure they'll probably have one because I believe that this game is being developed for PC first, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, but we'll are you see. listening to me? Sure. Hi. I am. You're hearing me. You ain't listening. i leave off, Granger. Look at him, or I'll make you. Boy, calm down, will you? <laughs> you might be wondering, why is Rurikan laughing? My man over here is in full plate armor, prone, <laughs> doing an army crawl <laughs> in full plate. I don't think you can do this.
<laughs> but then again, games don't need to be realistic for them to be fun. Let's be real with that. But this this is just like, this is maybe taking it a bit too far. I know it's easy. Thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. You can somewhat, but it's not comfortable. I highly doubt. Because like, I mean, maybe here, because it's like swampy and stuff, but you're going to get water inside your armor. You're going to get like, if this was a more flat terrain, like a rocky one, your armor would slide around. Like, I don't think it'd be very good to do this. It's also very restrictive on movement, yeah. Plate, that is. Right, I'm looking. What did I say then, right? What for the paint? That's it. That painted armor. Bloody savages, didn't I say? Yeah, you said it, Grinder. So this is just the show that you can sneak well, you past enemies. Blight. Sometimes it's harder to spot, yeah? Gets in your veins first. Clogs up your brain. They're infected before you know it. He's dead. <laughs> Poor bastard reeks. Probably dead for days. You're new to this. It only gets worse after they're dead. <sighs> Much almost sorry for him. My ass doesn't feel too sorry. Keep looking. Assassinations? <laughs> That's right, shank him. Shank him in the gizzards. Salt mineral. Belzorian guard. Short sword hilt. You guys know what this reminds me of? Did you guys ever play the, the multiplayer modes of Dragon Age? That's kind of like the vibe that I'm getting from this, except this is good. Feel me? <laughs> it's like, it's like the, the Dragon Age multiplayer, but maybe good. Ooh, a bow. I'm very curious about this game. How are you going to have a short sword when you left your shield behind? Hey, what's up? It's another player? Yeah, that's probably another player. The way he was moving, it looked like another player. And I know that this game has four-player co-op. I don't see any indication in the UI of, like, um, a thirst system, a famine system, anything like that. Which, to me, is very good. Because, like, whenever people talk about survival games, one of the most boring things to me is when, like, well... It's a survival game, so every five minutes, got to make sure you feed your character. Every five minutes, got to make sure your character gets a drink of water. Every five minutes, got to make sure your character takes a shit. Every five minutes, got to make sure your character retains his sanity. And it's like, bro, I don't want to play. No, no. So when they go too deep on survival elements, I instantly tune out. And in here, I see like what I think is health and stamina, and that's pretty much it. I should take a look at the start of the, <clears throat> at the, start of the video again. To see if there's actually, like, uh, if the stamina gets used up when he attacks. Western Hinterlands. The visuals look pretty decent as well. Make offering. Potentially a system to give you buffs or something. <clears throat> Light survival X. It's like, I guess one of the concerns that I have with this is how's the scenery going to vary? Because like, yeah, sure, I'm fine if there's like a couple of levels like this, but I wouldn't want all of the levels to just be like brown and gray and very little color. You know what I'm saying? Also, let me see if the stamina actually moves at the start because I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, look, at the start, he's bashing him in. And his stamina starts recovering when he's done. See the stamina recovery right there? 
Let's see if when he attacks, he also uses up his stamina. I think he will. There should be an attack fairly early on, if I remember correctly. I wonder if the blight is connected to the fungus. Dodging doesn't do it. No, it's just attacking. Yep, attacking consumes stamina, as expected. Let me see if there's like... Do they have a website or something? Blight Survival Official Website? Do you have... Yeah, they do. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at what we have here. An upcoming medieval cooperative action horror roguelite. <clears throat> Sign up for exclusive updates or wish listed here. Oh, the website doesn't really have much. Okay. Uh, oh, it's got a, a Reddit thread. A uh, subreddit, I mean. Two people, an artist and a programmer. First person just saw the trailer. I'm blown away. Console possibilities. Let's see if they actually replied to any of this. I doubt it. <clears throat> On Twitter, they said they have the intention to bring it to console. Let's take a look at their Twitter. I mean, they have a link tree right here. Hainer Studio. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, wait, wait. There's a press kit. Press kit. There's a press kit, but it doesn't actually show much. I was wondering if they would if they would have like a press release or something, but that's fine. Let's take a look here. We're two indie game developers who are working on a gritty medieval action horror roguelite. Two people. You can find and wish list the game here. Damn. Tweets and I'm gonna follow these guys. I'm curious. <laughs> Our player deaths plan to be as brutal as, say, Dead Space, given how you'll die a lot in this game. We want to make sure your death is entertaining. Four player only. One to four players. So, yes, you can solo or play duo. Nice. So, it's, so it's, um, it's like it's scalable. That's good. <clears throat> Dark Souls, but with Last of Us 2 gameplay. <clears throat> one to four players we hope to bring it to consoles you're not gonna break your legs from a two meter drop in our game Geralt <laughs> okay this this seems interesting I'm very interesting I, I'm very interested I'll keep following uh, the development uh, they have a steam link let's take a look here right there's a steam link let's see if there's like a, a date it just says coming soon uh, we'll see we'll see I'm interested. Uh, I'm going to add it to my wish list, actually. Oh, crap. Yeah, I have to do it on an actual Steam. I'll do it later, but I'll add it to my wish list for sure. Very curious to see more about this game. 